to our Manless Whack YouTube channel. Uh, glad you could join us. Thankful that you subscribe to our channel and that you are a patronizing customer at the African Caribbean Food Market in downtown Oakland, also known as Manless Whack. Today, uh, we're making a very uh, popular dish uh, in West Africa, specifically Nigeria, called fried rice. Um, yes, there's fried rice in many cultures, especially here uh, in the U.S. You see variations of fried rice, but this is the variation that you will find in most, uh, say, Nigerian parties or households, especially when you're having like a festive occasion, similar to jello fries, but you have a little bit more vegetables in this uh, cooking. So today, um, it's very simple. Um, you need a few ingredients, and I'm just going to go over it and lay everything out. Uh, fried rice is probably one of the simplest uh, dishes to make. And I have one medium red onion, cut up, you know, diced any way you like. Uh, then I have one medium green bell pepper, and one uh, medium red bell pepper. And just for an extra dash of color, I have uh, one yellow uh, sweet uh, bell pepper. Then I also have, um, you know, my spices. Very simple. You don't need too much. It's uh, one teaspoon of uh, red pepper. And I have um, the Maggi cubes. I already crushed them. I'll show you what it looks like when it's uncrushed later on. And that, those are two cubes of the Maggi cubes. Then I have salt. And then I have just another seasoning that I like. Uh, it's called organic no salt seasoning because I like herbs. Um, then I have a pound of chicken breast. I've already lightly seasoned it and uh, cooked for a few minutes. You know, actually it's all cooked, but it's um, not overcooked and lightly seasoned. And then I also have my um, one quart or 32 fluid ounces of chicken stock. You can also cook, uh, if you have, if you need more, you can cook maybe a pot of chicken and just pour out uh, the same quantity to cook with your meal. Then I have uh, rice, it's already drained. I cooked, I parboiled it uh, for about 15-20 minutes. It's been washed and cooked and it's just ready to be cooked. So, um, so what I do first is um, I get my vegetables started right here. Uh, this is uh, my frying pan. I'm going to put it on medium uh, temperature. Then I'm going to have my um, vegetables. Let me get a spoon real quick. Okay. And um, I'm going to have to get this started here in the pot. So we can start uh, getting ready. Then, um, so the onions and the bell peppers. And then you can always use um, beef or chicken or shrimp. Or if you're vegetarian, you don't have to use um, any meat products or meat stock, you just cook it that way. Um, and just let that cook for a little bit before I add my uh, chicken. So while that's happening, I'm going to um, cook, start getting my rice ready. What I'd like to do is mix it with the, um, with the um, chicken broth. So. You know, I always say somebody as clumsy as I can make it happen in the kitchen and it turns out good and the kids love it and grown-ups love it, then so can you. So, um, I've been rather clumsy in the past, so. But anyway, here we go. So, my vegetable, that is about six cups of rice, by the way. And that will serve about eight adults. Okay? So... My vegetables are already making some noise. I'm going to add my uh, chicken broth to the rice. Again, remember it's already been slightly, it's already been parboiled, it's been washed, it's ready to go. So total prep time I would say is about 20 minutes. But while this is uh, cooking and your vegetables are uh, being cut, it's about 20 minutes prep time, okay? So there's that. That's going to be in there getting all soaked up in that chicken juice. I'm going to turn it around a little bit. 
And then on the other saucepan, my um, my vegetables are getting themselves all nice. Now, I never want to overcook my vegetables. So now it's time to add my chicken, right? So, so far, I've only been doing this for about five minutes. So I'm going to add my chicken. And I'm going to add my ingredient. Okay. So a little salt. Because I have to, you know, maybe I'll say about um, a teaspoon. So a teaspoon of salt. You don't want to cook with too much salt. So a teaspoon of salt. Um, my red peppers. About a teaspoon. You know, you can always add pepper on the side for those who like things a little spicy. And I'm going to add um, just my herbs and light spices that don't have any salt in. I'm just going to shake to taste. I would say this is probably about half a teaspoon. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to turn that around for a little bit. Remember, my rice is already... Um, mixed up with the chicken broth and it's cooking. Okay? And it uh, should be on medium fire. So this is, it looks simple and it should be because, you know, we've already done some prepping prior to this. But remember, it's a, a pound of chicken breast. as It was about two, eight ounce uh, breasts of chicken. One medium sized red bell pepper one medium-sized green bell pepper, one medium-sized um, orange or yellow red pepper, and uh, one medium-sized red onion. This is all ready. And so I'm going to just uh, mix in my chicken, I mean my, my rice. <laughs> so it's already warm and mixed up with the chicken broth. So this is about, I do this for about five to seven minutes and I mix it all together. So I'm going to get a little bowl to make things easier. And just take the rice from here to here. Remember, it's eight cups of rice. So here we go. It's on medium. And then you mix it all up and you let it cook for about... 10-15 minutes and your rice should be, your fried rice should be done. Doing this cooking session that I've been doing, the kids are loving me a lot more because, you know, obviously I'm not cooking the same thing the same time, so it's getting, it's getting exciting for them. And of course, uh, believe it or not, uh, while they watch, they learn. I'm mixing the, the rice and the vegetables and the chicken. Look at that color. You know, I, I'll do some other American, uh, known American dishes as well. Uh, but the way we cook it with a lot more flavor because we like flavor and we like, um, you know, a little spice. But I love this because it's healthy and um, you get to um, get the kids to eat vegetables without really forcing them because it's very flavorful and it's, you know, visually appealing. Okay, so after you turn it around make sure the chicken and the rice and all the vegetables have uh, made friends with each other and you just let it cook for a few minutes. Uh, you cover up the pan and the saucepan and you let it cook for a few minutes. So there you go. Okay, so after about 10 minutes or so, here you go. Your fried rice is ready to go and ready to serve about eight to ten people you know most of these ingredients can be purchased at uh, my store so uh, 547 8th street oakland california madnesswap.com is our website and feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel for many more um, tips and techniques for cooking and remember the most important ingredients in cooking is just love.
you know, very simple. There's no um, gimmickry about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.